Hey, it's Jason. We're looking at housing prices and what we expect to see in 2021. As you probably are well aware of right now, talking to your friends, home prices are incredibly high right now. Number one factor affecting this are the very low interest rates meaning the interest rates that home buyers pay on the loan, that means that they have lower monthly payments, but they also qualify for higher home prices. We look at recent past to compare what's going on now to get a view of what's going on currently. February last year, we saw interest rates at 3.45% for a 30 year fixed rate loan, which is incredibly low. That's very good. As realtors, that was very low and we thought it couldn't get any lower and home prices were high back then. Now people are qualifying for a 2.77% 30 year fixed rate loan, which is incredibly low. It's a record breaker. These low rates are great for buyers. They qualify for a lower monthly payment and they can also qualify for a higher sticker price on a home. However, when multiple people buy homes at a higher price, that drives the prices of homes up. It's one of the reasons why home prices are high right now. And home prices have skyrocketed in the last few months due to those very low interest rates and how aggressively they've dropped over the last three months. Low inventory or less homes available on the market to be sold is another reason for the high home prices. When people have a high demand, a lot of people want to buy homes, but there's less available, the price naturally goes up. Because of this, a lot of data firms that I look into for information, including Black Knight and CoreLogic, they state that one of the reasons for the low inventory is because of the lack of new housing, new homes being built. While this is true throughout the United States, this does not necessarily ring true for big cities like Los Angeles and New York. The reason for this is because these areas are very built up right now and there's nowhere to build new homes. So there's little to no possibility of new homes being built in these areas. Think about it if you live in New York City or if you live in Los Angeles, how many empty lots do you see? When I was a little kid growing up in Los Angeles, every now and then you see an empty lot. I can maybe think of one empty lot within four miles of me. So while nationally building more homes may be a solution to combat the decreased inventory and help negate the rising prices of home costs throughout the United States, it's not necessarily a solution for big cities like New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Boston. Housing is in such a shortage here in Los Angeles that some local that some local neighborhoods like Mar Vista here on the west side of Los Angeles have a plan to tear down houses and put up multi-unit housing to make up for the lack of housing currently available in an attempt to battle housing shortages. A lot of local neighborhood committees that I'm watching are against this because they bought a home in a neighborhood with other homes. They don't want to be close to multi-unit housing because it's more congested, less parking, and it's usually more noisy. The other thing that I'm seeing is in Los Angeles, multi-unit housing has not been affordable. So if the reason for building these was to bring more affordable housing to more people, then that sounds like a great idea. However, everything we've been seeing in the last three to four years, they have all been luxury rentals, which doesn't really help the majority of people who are affected by the shortage of housing. Creating new housing will definitely help the United States overall increase the number of inventory. Long term, it looks like the prices of homes will continue to go up throughout Los Angeles. However, other things may help like a change in interest rates and also an increase in inventory, which may happen when we get some COVID relief. More people may be willing to let people into their homes to view their homes. We could get more foot traffic if open houses open back up. And also people may be more willing to move and less afraid to get exposed to other people. Hopefully that will put more homes up on the market so more homes are available for buyers, even in crowded places like New York and Los Angeles. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, click this playlist to get the latest information on the 2021 housing market, and don't forget to subscribe to keep getting more information. See you guys next time. Thank you.